What is going on, everybody? My name is Frozone on Killington. <coughs> How are you today? Uh, I'm here with my unpaid intern. What's up? I think that there's going to be his new name for now on his unpaid intern. Um, we're doing another reaction channel today. We are doing five Pokemon you should keep your kids away from. Ooh. It is by Creeps Plays. Um, go down to their channel, subscribe, whatnot, and all that. But is it turned up? Uh, I think so. Turned up. There okay, there we go. All right, let's get it on. <clears throat> the world of Pokemon is widely accepted as a great place for kids. Once a kid reaches about ten, they have the opportunity to leave their home and travel the world, meeting all kinds of fantastic creatures to help them on their way. That's at ten. I'm over double that, and I can barely function as an independent individual. <laughs> so, with all this in mind, it's got to be accepted that all Pokemon are good for kids. That there aren't any ones that could do tremendous harm, right? Right. Well, as you may already know, no. That's completely wrong. It's almost terrifying how many Pokemon exist simply to torment and kill children. Remember that one scene from that movie where Mewtwo attacked that one dude with his... Charizard? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one really hurt. Charizard, him. attack! Yeah, he had to make a Mega Evolve. That one was crazy. <clears throat> Alright. So, you go to a carnival or a similar family event to make the day memorable. You want to get your kids something. Right. And while you're thinking of something, your child sees another kid with a balloon and loves it. You want to get your kid one, but you can't find the vendor. You look off to the side and see a balloon floating with no owner. Seems to be a loose one, belonging to no one. You could give that to your kid and save a buck by not buying one. You grab it and give it to your kid, who proceeds to float away and you never see him again. Bam! That's basically what Drifloon is. Drifloon is the balloon Pokemon, and its Pokedex entry says this. It is whispered... Bro. I have had this Pokemon so many times in my Pokemon games. Uh, Omega Ruby, uh, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and Red, Blue, Yellow. I've played them all. And I've had him so many times. I've used him in the Pokemon League, and it sucked. Don't ever get him. Back to the base. That any child who mistakes Drifloon for a balloon and holds onto it could wind up missing. If you think balloons are the only harmless things to be scared of in the Pokemon universe, you must be new here. <clears throat> so, you're ten years old, you've uh -huh. journeyed through hot and cold to forward your travels, and experience the world of Pokemon. You also hope to one day see your dad, who, while you were young, set out on a journey of his own. You find a cave to hide in from the harsh weather outside, and you think of him. The cave is cold and damp, but you'll this make it through the night. Really fast. Yeah. Suddenly, you hear a soft sobbing from deep within. So, you explore deeper in to find the source. While going deeper, you have a sudden rush of memories of your father. <sighs> how he sounded and acted in the brief period of your life. As you get closer, you have no doubt. It's him. You're ready to be reunited. Sure a face turns in the dark, barely illuminated. See, if that was my father, I would slap him. I would just take my fist and just go, wham, right there across the face. Are you sure about that? I'm very sure. No, I'm just fine. <laughs> I love my dad. Yo, guess what? I have a katana. If you want to borrow that, then you can. All right, I'm going to need that later. Okay. It's <coughs> his face, but the rest of him sends chills down your spine decapitation and you pass out well done you've just found a yeah mask according to the bogadex each of them yeah. carries a mask that used to be its face when it was human sometimes they look at it and cry this pokemon seems to be built from the memories of the deceased oh. back to bed in the morning, they tell you they had a wonderful dream, Please, but they can't remember it. Yeah, it's ravenous monsters, you think to yourself. 
My child is staying at home, getting an education and getting a real job. Yeah. Your dad comes up to you and tells you their nose was itchy when they woke up. But you just brush it off and send them back to bed. In the morning, they tell you they had a wonderful dream, but they can't remember it. You laugh it off and tell them that's normal and carry on like nothing's happened. If you see these signs, your kid is being fed upon by a drowsy. According drowsy. to the decks, Bro, that's if like you think you had a good ever. dream but can't remember <laughs> it, a drowsy has probably eaten it. Oh now, God. forgetting dreams is normal, but there's also an entry that states, if your nose becomes itchy while you're sleeping, it's a sure sign that one of these Pokemon is standing above your pillow and trying to eat your dreams through your nose. That's nasty. In fact, most of the entries for this creature, like when written out, sound innocent. But when you really read into things, sound creepy as hell. It can tell what people are dreaming by sniffing with its big nose. It loves fun dreams. What the hell? It remembers every dream it eats. It rarely eats the dreams of adults because children's are... Yeah, that's skipping that. Uh-uh. No. Nope. No. You're right. A question you ask yourself on a regular basis. He starts growing up and it's not long before he simply discards a doll after giving it the worst okay, treatment yeah, yeah. imaginable. Okay. Yeah, dude. Okay, here it is. <clears throat> so, your child had trouble sleeping after that incident. So, you hmm. buy him a toy. Something for him to look after since you're trying to keep him away from Pokemon. Hmm. I mean, that's the safest thing to do, right? A question you ask yourself on a regular basis. He starts growing up and it's not long before he simply discards a doll after giving it the worst treatment imaginable. Boys will be boys, you tell yourself. The night ends like any other. When you're just about to reach the land of Nod, you hear an ear-piercing scream. You run over to your son's room to find him shaking, scared. On top of him is a doll with red eyes. A strange energy but leaving its mouth, Gengar. composed by a golden zip. The mist envelops your son, and yeah, he drops, unmoving. The doll slips through the window before you can get to it, and all you can do is hold your son's cold body. What you just saw was a bannet. What? The Pokemon entries of this creature starts rather cryptic. Saying how they give Ugh. curses through energy that escapes their mouths. The early entries also state that they are born from discarded dolls and return through feelings of strong hatred. But it never states who the right, hatred is for. Right there. It's rather vague. Alright. Things are... Alright. Well, we're gonna stop that video right there. Um, because this is getting creepy. But, uh, if you want to see the other, like the last part of it, go to Creepy Plays on YouTube. Subscribe to them, watch this video. They do amazing work. Like, amazing work. Yeah. Amazing world of Gumball. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to end up getting us uh, kicked off of YouTube. Don't put other people's names in this. You can get kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Um, but, yeah, if you want to see another reaction video, go... Subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, and say huzzah! But you know, this is Franz on Killington, his unpaid intern. What's up? And we are signing out. Eh. Later. Later, Raid.